Hi, my name is Sister Mary Pat White, I'm Religious of the Sacred Heart. I'm vocation director for the United States Canada province. And I am so happy that you have ex uh, begun to explore our site. And what I would like to share with you is um, a little bit about our application process. And of course, it begins with an inquiry. So the inquiry process is going to look different for each person. Some people have been through some of our have been through our school and perhaps know a lot of RSCJ. So all they have to do is pick up the phone and ask their favorite teacher, "What do I do? I think I have a vocation to the Society of the Sacred Heart." But some people don't know anything about the Society of the Sacred Heart, but have just been perusing our website, perhaps RSCJ org or our international site and beginning to wonder if maybe this would be a good fit. So if you are new to the Society of the Sacred Heart and you uh, would like to make contact with us, there's several things that you can do. One, you can pick up the phone and call me. Um, this, uh, or you can contact me by email. Um, <clears throat> the other thing that you can do is go to the website and see who the contact person might be closest to where you live. And then that begins the process. And you don't have to really kind of worry about it from there. We will help you get to know us. And that's really the first thing that needs to be done. As you begin this process, the, the key thing is that we want to help you with the process of determining whether in fact you do have a call to religious life and whether you have a call to the Society of the Sacred Heart. And the way we think that works best is if we respond to what your questions and your concerns are. It's your journey. And one of the things that we think is very helpful is the conversation that, that you initiate. And from there, for you to determine whether you want to pursue that or whether you want to step back from it for a while. It's, the ball is on your side of the court. So one of the best ways that we think um, is it, uh, helpful for people to know the Society of the Sacred Heart is to know religious of the Sacred Heart. In fact, it's the primary way of knowing who we are and what our lives are about. And so, one of the first things that we like to do is invite a woman into our community and into an area where religious of the Sacred Heart live. And some of the ways we do that is just to invite, some, invite you, perhaps, to a liturgy. And usually, there's a little glass of wine and some uh, cheese afterwards and maybe a supper um, to come for um, holidays and holy days that we celebrate, feast days that are special to us in the society. And as a person becomes more comfortable with us, sometimes people just drop by and just hang out with us. And we love that. Discernment. What is discernment? I always just think of it as kind of sorting things out and figuring out where I am and what I want to do and what's my deepest call and my greatest desires. So my work as vocation director, which is a beautiful privilege, is to walk with people and help them figure it out. And I don't do that alone. So I ask people who are in the various areas to take someone under their wing a little bit and be a mentor and make sure that they get invited to the feast days and to the fun stuff and come for liturgies, um, stay for maybe a glass of wine and supper afterwards and just get to know a community. And then as time goes on, I want to make sure that that experience is extended so that the person who is looking at the Society of the Sacred Heart gets to have a wider and wider understanding and vision 
of who we are as RSCJ. And really, it is by getting to know us that you will get to know the Society of the Sacred Heart. The biggest thing about all of this is to look within yourself and to come to a deeper understanding of what you really want to do in your life and what your values are and your goals and your longings and to try to listen deeply to the Spirit of God and what the Spirit is saying to you and how the Spirit is calling you to prayer. So the application process. Well, there is a formal process that we, that we follow, but the key thing is when the time is ripe for you, and I as a representative of the Society of the Sacred Heart can also affirm that you are ready, then again, I still have that privilege of walking with you, and I will be with you every step along the way. And generally what I do is, is I just give a, the process to the person bit by bit so that it doesn't, hopefully, ever feel overwhelming, but that it will be an opportunity to deepen your understanding of who you are and what your gifts are and what you have to offer to the society and what God is asking of you at this time. There's plenty of information on our site about the details, but of course, I want people to call me or email me and be in contact with me for whatever questions or concerns or what even maybe even worries that might crop up. Because I want to be there for you. This is my joy and this is my privilege.